<laughs> Welcome back to everyone's favorite made-up game show. Will the weekly aftermarket part in Modern Warfare 3 work? Why is this freak holding the gun this way? Anyway, let's check out the brand new weekly aftermarket part. That's what this video is going to be about. And it is the Jack Cutthroat. Is that a brand new stock? Whoa. <laughs> After having numerous failed recordings because this game is currently taking up 95% of my RAM and forcing me to play in full screen exclusive mode, otherwise Shadow Play can't record, we are finally able to go after and unlock the best attachment ever brought into Modern Warfare 3. This thing. Let's go get it. <laughs> Let's unlock it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what they did with the latest update, at least on PC, but it feels like the game is running at like 30 FPS. I mean, just look at the water texture by Big Brain here. Like, I do not know what's wrong with the game, but whatever update they pushed, I mean, my RAM is still at like 90% or higher. Oh, great, and I just got the notification that they released the Cheech and Chong bundle. Wait, what is this? Oh, it, it didn't load in time, of course. I'm not- I mean, the game looks fine. It's running good once we're actually in. Getting the doubles. Another one. Hope it counts. You have to get doubles without taking damage with SMGs. Um, actually, a recommended SMG can't just be- FUCK IT! I don't have the patience for this today. I had like four or five failed recordings before this one. I don't know exactly what they did with this update, but they clearly patched in some stupidity. Wait, I think we got one of them done. We did. Okay, we got the take- I- I can't talk. Let's just try to get it done. I don't know what to do next. I'm just gonna do stuff. They're new tubing now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> In the corner, what a surprise. Sloth camping in the corner with ghosts. Man, you're just such a f You did dick. <laughs> That's a headshot. Okay, yeah. There's one. Hey oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, I missed it. <laughs> what are you doing? Teammates. What are you gonna do? Skill based matchmaking. This is every match for me. I mean, look at the spread, boys. Meanwhile, they have multiple players with over 2 KDs. Nice. Very balanced matchmaking system. The game is basically saying that I am the equivalent of three 2 KD plus players. Wanna know what my KD is? I didn't even know until just now. A 1.28. Get it together, Call of Duty. We got shipment, though. I mean, we're gonna get everything done. Think that might have counted? Oh my god. What? Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, how did I blow someone up? Do I even want to know? Come on, let's finish this shit up. Please tell me we're done with the stunning. Yes, thank you. All right, let's just finish up these pistol headshots. I don't know why, but I'm having a difficult time actually landing them when I have an easy chance like that. One more. I, I'm pretty sure it's... Oh, okay. That should be it right there. Come on. There we go. All right, now we have to get gun butt kills. Like that. Oh my. Wait. Golden opportunity here. Oh. Oh my god, we got a triple bop. Quad bop. It's done. Wow. All we needed was one lucky break and we got it. Okay, now we have to reload and then start getting kills. I don't know if the classes are still bugged when you're trying to like change stuff mid-game, but we're going to take off the 48 rounds. I want to be able to reload faster. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's so much better. Probably just made this gun even faster than it already is, too. Yep, this is work. I am so sorry, teammate. Oh. Oh. Much like the game, this is not working. Dude, what the fu- I wanted to get this done in one match, dude. Wait, no way it's gonna count right here. Nah, I did not get it done. Wait, no, I did get it done. Wait, what? Dude, that's crazy. I'm pretty sure I got all of these done in one game. Like, right at the last second. We got a playlist update. Hopefully that fixed the game. Broke it more. It actually stopped my recording. It stopped recording the game. Okay, it's only taking up 60% of the RAM now, so I mean, hopefully that fixed it. Looks like they added one in the chamber as well. I was gonna say, up until this point, there were no brand new game modes or any, like, playlist changes for this week until now. Looks like they also added Season 3 Mosh Pits, so we have all four of the new maps. One in the chamber could be pretty fun to play, though. I actually really like one in the chamber, so if you guys want to see that in a separate video, definitely let me know. But for now, we need to check out the new stock, which we just unlocked. I don't know what guns you can put it on. You can't put it on the new SMG. I don't even know which guns you can put it on. Uh... Maybe you could put it on assault rifles? Let's try it out on everyone's favorite meta weapon, the MC Double Hue. <laughs> Fiddle load. What the? What is going on with this game? I'm not seeing anything new in the stock category. What is this available on? 
Is it gonna stop recording? I alt tabbed and it stops recording, dude. Uh, this game, holy. F Do they at least tell you what you can put this on? Maybe the MTZ556? Oh, there it is, Jack Cutthroat. It says this 3D printed stock provides an unrivaled combination of speed and stability while aiming down sights. Okay, and here's the compatible guns you can put it on. You can. <laughs> Wait, what? It says you can put it on the MCW, but we just tried that and it doesn't work. But it does state that you can put it on the MCW, the MTZ, the M4, and the AMR9. That is so bizarre. Like, clearly you cannot put this on the MCW. I just tried. So with this stock, it is going to hurt our recoil control and our accuracy, but we're going to get plus 6% movement speed, plus 8% crouch movement speed. Oh, that's so useful. But this is really the big benefit right here. Plus 21% ADS movement speed. So with the naked MTZ 556, this is what our side to side is going to look like. I'm sorry that it, it looks so laggy because of this ridiculous update, which on PC at least has us going at like 30 FPS in the firing range. But this is how fast we're strafing side to side. It's pretty slow. And I think this is why people are calling this the Black Ops 2 stock, because this is apparently really going to speed up our side to side movement. Yeah, look at that strafing speed increase. That is uh, pretty neat. So if we try to do everything in our power to increase this gun's movement and like side to side strafing speed, this gun could get pretty crazy. I'm going to look for every possible attachment that can maybe help with this. I, I don't think the lasers will help. Okay, this long barrel apparently really helps. This gun's recoil is probably going to go insane. But we do get plus six percent with this barrel right here not a single muscle that will help there should be some under barrels that will help though Ooh, this vertical grip could be good okay so we went through all the attachments and i think overall the vertical grip that we found this one right here the kimura seraphic vertical grip i don't even know if i said that right putting it on if we put on a 20 round mag that also helps with movement lastly do we have a rear grip that can help i'm gonna go with the mtz aggressor grip because it's not going to hurt anything except for your aim walking steadiness which is not too bad and here it is a full-on speed build with the mtz 556 and we're gonna do one more thing although i don't think we're gonna see this reflected in the firing range but we're gonna put on the stalker boots. Now this only helps with side-to-side -side ADS strafing speed, at least at the time of making this video, but the stalker boots should still improve our side-to-side -side ADS speed. Let's see what it's looking like now. I mean, this is a pretty fast strafe. Even though we're at 30 FPS, like we're moving so much faster. I think this is more than twice as fast as the base MTZ. Now, since this MTZ only has 20 rounds, it's gonna have terrible accuracy and it's really only built for that side-to-side -side ADS speed. I'm gonna put us right back into hardcore on the small map playlist. Now I wanna see if it's competitive with like SMGs and pistols, you know, things that typically really out perform ARs, at least in really aggressive, fast-paced situations. I did not queue for a hardcore search. What in the- Oh, I see the playlist update checked every box. Nice. I have no idea if this thing will be able to compete on shipment, but let's give it a go. Alright, we're strafing. I mean, dude, we are going so fast. We don't have to stop ADSing. Oh, this thing's gonna be so annoying. <laughs> oh my god. Way to go, Swanson. I would have never guessed Ron Swanson would be a team killer. While this isn't my favorite build, this is actually working really nicely. Until you get collided by Moors. Who uses that in hardcore? I'm not used to moving this fast side to side, so like, it's really weird. It's off-putting at first. Oh, that's a sentry gun. Oh my god, I thought we had a quad. Just putting sentry guns down everywhere. You guys are... Oh, and there's the tweet. We're investigating an issue preventing the Jack Cutthroat stock from being equipped on the MCW. I think investigating the RAM issue would be a much bigger priority at this point. Oh my... You bought a cat skin and you're laying down with a fire brushy. Who hurt this man? I mean... Jesus Christ, dude. These guys weren't camping so hard. They'd be getting... These guys weren't just, like, camping and laying down in random spots. The clip potential would be crazy. Look at how you guys play. The attachment itself isn't bad. It's just kind of a disappointing update, though. Like, so much is wrong and broken right now in the game. Maybe I'm just salty about it. I don't know. I'll probably be in a better mood later when I'm going to try out someone in the chamber. Hopefully by then, all the recording issues and stuff and, like, all the weird RAM stuff is fixed on PC. But yeah, overall, the stock, pretty fun to use. If you like, you know, playing aggressively, running around like this, I think you're really going to enjoy this attachment. It definitely doesn't seem like the most exciting attachment at first, but, like, dude, the mobility you get, all the stuff you can do with this thing, at least for, like, the four guns or so that you can put this on, it's going to be really helpful. We got the dub ski. Drop 79 kills. I actually really do like this build I made with the MTZ. I think the only issue, though, is that with 20 rounds, it's not going to be as good in core. But in situations like this, it's just going to absolutely destroy. I'm absolutely going to save this build, and if you guys want to copy it and use this class yourself, go ahead and pause the video, take a screenshot, do what you got to do. And with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I'll see you guys later. Come. Thank you.